hi there welcome back to a new video um i want to make a little mini journal today i'm gonna jump straight in because i'm very excited um i will do this one as i've gifted because i've been kindly sent these papers these simple stories it's the new say cheese classic mouse collection from paper may so i'll leave the links down below these are super cute oh i've got the sticker selection there as well um, I love this one. I think that one might be my best, my favourite. This one, and I love that one as well. And then that one, just have a look. Look at the hearts. These are so cute. And I want to make a little mini book gift. I love that. Look at that with the daisies. Um, I want to make a little mini book today, a little mini journal as a Christmas gift. These are like the steamboat willies, aren't they? Um, thing is, and then we've got some of these. So um, we're going to make that today and I'm really excited, but um, we are heading out soon. So it's not one that I want to take ages and ages. So I want to show you that you can make a super quick mini book mini journal in literally just a few minutes all you need is the right bits and pieces do i want that one yeah why not so i'm gonna do mine we just got back from florida last month it feels so much longer ago than that holidays have a habit of doing that don't they it just feels like ages ago that we were there it feels really strange saying last month we do have a travel channel so if you'd like to see our disney videos i will leave the link to those below so you can go and check those out i'm gonna do the same i love the daisies right i am going to instead of just cutting them all out i think i will work out which ones i love those so let's go with those so i am making this as a christmas gift for my mum mum came with us she's not a scrapbooker so it's something that i will do and fill in for her but um let me know i would like to hear from you do you make mini books or journals for friends or family that aren't creative people and do they actually use them? I might come back to that. I really love the daisies. So that's one of those, you know, when you want a double, I wish I'd ordered a double of that. Um, my mom is very creative, but in a completely different way to me. She is a florist and an amazing cake baker and decorator, but she doesn't do paper crafts, but she is very good. Now, I also had an idea um oh i love that you make me smile from ear to ear happy moments oh we could have a 2024 i'm trying to think which one is my cover i like that one actually and then i might do the date on there but i am thinking about adding something to thicken up the cover a little bit i am going to use one of my boxes this is one of my boxes from my monthly craft kits let's use one of these i think that will work well so i just want to thicken up the cover just a little bit so i'm thinking we'll stick that on there do i want the white or the let's have the white on the outside what side white or craft i do quite like the craft though as well I like that little bit of contrast i think we might go with that one so let's just mark that off a little bit it just gives it just a little bit more stability and then we're going to cut that down but obviously you can use any cardboard box but it is a good way to use up your boxes when they come through with all your bits and pieces i am currently working on my christmas kits this week i am excited to get them going um, they will be going on sale um, on the first so look out for those perfect size i'm going to do exactly the same with this one so i will be doing yeah my christmas kits this month it's a special one off, off kit so it's not one of my subscription kits and it comes with a video as well so you can make 
your own mini book. For those of you that want to journal your Decembers, I have found it's the only way for me that I get to, dis to journal my Decembers. It seems to be the hack that's worked for me. Making the little book and sticking with it. I think I've done it, what, three or four Christmases in a row now um, just by using my kits. All these years, I have been scrapbooking. I think I started in 2020. 20 20, 2002 and um, right we're going to have these as the front covers I am going to rough up the edges um, yeah and I all the years be careful with your fingers doing this all the years I tried to do a little mini book so many times and um, I just couldn't do it I just couldn't keep up with it and then I started selling the kits and making my own little mini books and it just seemed to work for me. And for some reason, it's just stuck. And I make the mini book in November. And the other thing is I used to make the mistake of trying to do, um, there we go, this is gonna be so cute, trying to document the whole of December. And I have found so many ways now to do this so many hacks and tips and I have found my perfect way now to document December so if that's something that interests you keep an eye out um, I will be selling the kits at the end of the week there will be early links in my community so I will leave a link to my free Facebook group down below um, as they will be having early access along with my patreons they get early early act access and then over in the facebook group um because these kits always sell out fast so keep an eye out and then i'll be sharing a video making the mini book there we go we've got our cover and we're going to do the back as well exactly the same and this will stop it from bending give it a little bit of protection there we go and we're going to do the same with the happy moments Got to be careful not to bend it because I am quite heavy handed I don't mean to be I just seem to be let's tidy up as we're going along so when did you last make your last little mini book I love making mini books. I've got a real special one that I've got that I'm wanting to make for a friend at the moment and I keep meaning to and I haven't got around to it. And you know when you're so, so excited about a project and I don't know what's holding me back because I, it shouldn't take me too long. I'm really excited about it. But I'm just not getting around to making it. But I need to. Right, we have got front and back covers excellent like that um i am going to be using my um what's it called my cinch so we're going to be doing that i think from the side maybe let's do that from the side so inside then i would like to do maybe add these like that I think I'll do that and then we've got that side as well I was gonna do the craft on the end on the other side wasn't I I just remembered never mind obviously wasn't meant to be I am really happy with that now let's get some pages in here so I am just going to how are we gonna do size wise so one Two. I wonder how many we'll get on here. I don't know if we'll get. Actually, yes, we should get. Let me take off the trim. Actually, I'm going to keep the trim on there. Let's keep the trim on. It gives us a little bit extra space, and the trim's quite cool. So I think we might get four. Let's trim these down because don't forget when you're making these, you need your pages to be smaller than your cover. Actually, that's quite a bit smaller, isn't it? 
Yeah, I'm going to need to trim these down. Could have got rid of that anyway. Right, this wasn't such good planning. I should have marked that out. So let's mark that on there. And then we can always use the trim then on other projects or even on this page. Where's that pencil line? There. And then we have got... Excellent. That is the perfect size, actually. That's good. I like that. So we are going to be having our pages that size. And now that I've got my template for my size, I now know what width to cut them. Now we're going to vary them slightly. Let's move that along. For example, this one we are going to fold out. So that will go on there. That will go like that. And that one like that. So we will have one page, but it will pull out. So that's fun. We'll do a few of those, I think. Then that way we can fit on more stories and more photos what else have we got here we can do exactly the same with this one this time though i'm not going to make the same mistake let's measure this time so that i get it correct and then we've got the pages and then I need to order some photos from Free Prints. I have been so bad at doing that. And actually, it is the end of October, so we all have time to get on over to Free Prints and order our Free Prints, don't we? We've got no excuse. So let this be your little reminder. I'm so lucky I have friends that actually send me <laughs> reminders. My friend Emma messaged on WhatsApp the other day with her little reminder, which was really nice. And I was very grateful because it's so easy to forget. See, look, we have a good amount of space. See, this would actually even make, you could cut it and make a little journal card to slide out. So we could do that. What else have we got? We have got this one. I love this one. Let's cut this to size here. Like that. Some people I don't fill it with photos um my sister I made one for her for our trip last time in 2022 I made a little golden book I was so pleased with it and um I didn't fill that one I left it as it was um ready for her to fill I will do this one as well and um but this one I know it's different types of people, aren't there? My sister does actually take photos and she will actually go and print them out. My mum, however, completely different person. She didn't even use her phone barely for photographs when we were out there. And, oh, I've done that wrong. I needed that to be a little bit smaller. And her attitude was that she didn't need to because we took all the photos. Now, I actually was slightly insulted by that, if I'm completely honest, because I just feel it's great when you've got somebody that takes all the photos, but when you're the person, or people, as in my case, I'm doing the videos, and Aid, let's use this one as well, is doing um, the photos. We're both constantly behind a lens. Nobody takes any photos of us. My sister did a couple of times, but we are the group photographers. And actually, sometimes I think it would be quite nice for somebody else to get their phone out and offer to take a picture of us. So, um, yeah, that's a bit of a sore subject with me because we have lovely photos of all the family. We get them into posing spots and we're like, oh, gosh, this would be a really nice photo. And um, they don't offer to take a picture of us, so... Yeah, and the ones we, that we did have, they're all a little bit out of focus or somebody's doing something stupid in the background. So, yeah, a bit of a sore subject there. Right, let's... That's the back. Got to make sure that they're all up the right way. 
and then we can I don't want I want to make sure they're all um, correct I don't want to make sure that they're all the same these are gonna look so cute there we go and then I can pop photos and we're going to add pockets make sure that's up the right way although that one is the same so let's do that one I'm going to do all sorts for this it's going to be really really cute um, trying to alternate them a little bit here um, let's have the hearts there and have that one and that one that one that one. Oh, there's a fair few actually. I didn't realise I'd done that many. More than I expected. Right. I think that might be the correct amount. And then that opens out. So let's just double check that everything is up the right way. See, that looks quite nice. That's still okay. I don't really want... Let's see if that works better yes 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 just always double check i have made mistakes so many times where something is upside down for example i think this is going to look really cute oh i'm so chuffed with this excellent so the next step now let's grab the cinch I know not everyone has one of these machines. So if you don't, you could use something like a book ring and you could either have two at the side or you could have one and just put a hole through or you could even just do a hole and add ribbons. There are other ways to do them if you don't have one of these machines. I have made mini books for absolutely years and not had one of these machines. So don't feel like you need to go and buy one or you can't do this because you don't have one. There are lots and lots of ways to do them. Right, let's see if we can get this done. Right, the first thing we're going to do is do the, let's see if we can get this at a better angle. Mm. Is that better? Right, I want to make sure I can see properly. Now, because I've got a smaller piece, I've actually pulled out these, number 12 and number 5, to pop it in. Let's see how that works. Right, I could have done with one more. Let's do the same here, but I might actually see how that works. That is better. That lines up. But I want one more hole, so I am going to do something. I know my circles are square and I'm about to do a round one. But I don't think it's going to notice too much because I'm going to add something to that. Um, I'm still a bit of trial and error with this, as you can see. Um, I just didn't want it like holding at the side or something. I wasn't quite sure where it was going to hold. So let's do these now. Hopefully they're all nice and tidy at the end. And I'm just going to go for it with these, I think. Let's go and wish me luck. Oh, I might have too many in there. Oh, done it. Fingers crossed. Yes. That is so nice and tidy. I am so happy about that. So now let's remember how I did this last time. I will leave a link to the video down below. You have your hooks on like that. The flat ones go on there. I've chosen a big flat chunky wire on mine. And the cover goes at the back. Then we do the pages first. They go in. And then we do the two covers back to back. So the front, sorry, front. To, so they are the correct covers like that. 
so this should work right let's pop these in excellent then that flicks over that is correct okay so the other thing i need to do cut my wire and then we're going to bring that to the back and this time we have got a wider one so press that down and move that in quite a chunky one so and the flatter piece goes underneath there we go oh i'm pleased with that that's so cute i think i might just trim off the wire just a little bit i don't want any dangerous bits sticking out and actually the hole that's round now that should have been square you can't even tell to be honest with you um, this then flicks over and we have the cutest little mini book look how sweet that is i am so so chuffed right now let's decorate this by the way this is only the second time that i have used this cinch binder and how easy was that really impressed so now for the fun stuff let's turn this into a proper mini book i have got um, die cuts as well so these can go in let's pull these out i do love a die cut i've got the magical memories on there so we've all ready got one of those and what we don't use I can use in my journal as well I don't want to use anything that is similar to what we've already got see these kind of little things are quite nice because you put them next to photos can't you that's quite a nice idea so I could have a photo on here I think I might do that and then something like that or this would be better on that side I think yes so photo here and what else have we got? I could even do some journaling on that side actually. Oh, we've also got the stickers. Let's have a look at the stickers as well. I mustn't forget these. I think I might just put the, um, the date on there. I think that would be quite nice. So, and I'm kind of like thinking we'll have like travel day photos um that would be quite cool so i'm going to use this die cut here but the plan is to just put some thin tape underneath then that way the photo can slide under i'm not sticking it completely down you'll see what i mean that then gives us the flexibility so i can pop that on there but the photo when i've got the printed the photo that can slide down and we'll have our photo um, outside terminal three there and I can do the journaling there. Um, I might add a sticker over there that would, um, there. Today was the best, excellent. And then on this side I can add another photo there we can break it up with some journaling on that side somebody asked me the other day actually do I ever create without any photos um, a lot of the time I don't because I am a photo person but sometimes I do and I know like my friend Elise um, she will often create without photos because she just loves the creative process and then she might then create something later um, so I've taken quite a lot from her about that and I find that way quite inspirational um, right what are we going to do here oh that's quite cute I like that actually I'm going to turn this one into a pocket let's add the tape here and then we can always like put a little bit of mum's boarding pass maybe um, like that put a little bit underneath this I think this will work really well and then you can just slide something all you need to do to turn it into a pocket is just to stick something down on the three sides and then you can instantly pop something in securely without worrying about it falling out there, so that can do that and then see what I mean 
can slide in there. I might even actually cut something out here like this and pop that in there as well because that will look really sweet. There. Perfect. I like that. Um, this side, there we go. It's amazing what a few stickers, what a difference it does. Um, this is going to be made up of lots and lots of photos. Let's take this one as well. Something else you can do. I think I might just cut this one here. Is easily add a flip. This would be good because we can have a photo here, but then that can flip there as well. And all we need for this one is a little bit of sticky tape. I prefer like the surgical tape type. I've just bought mine really cheap on Amazon. Um, so much cheaper than the actual um, sellotape one. Um, that brand, I can't think, what's the one? It's green packaging. That's the one I used to buy. It's become so, so expensive. I don't use washi tape just purely because it always ends up peeling. Um, but that's a really cute little one. I'm pleased with that. Should we add a sticker on there? There we go. Mum will like that. Mum is a big Disney fan, so I know she's going to love this. So we grew up with Disney in our family. Um, my grandparents were really into Disney, so I guess it's just rubbed off on everyone. This will be quite nice because um, I can add some wording. And again, I'm just going to stick it along the bottom. So if I choose to put a larger photo in, that won't affect that there yeah so we grew up with disney we had all the videotapes and all that kind of thing oh that one hasn't gone in very well that's better i might leave that there oh ah that's come unhooked i can see what's happened there there we go this is going to be so cute and i think i might do the same there as well do that one as a flip and then i can add my journaling using the wrong tape on the other side as well. This will work really well. We can have a photo that side and then we can flip this to have the journaling that side. I think I'll do that. And I'm even going to do the journaling for my mum because I know full well that she's not actually going to go in and journal. She just won't. I know that won't happen. So I would much rather do that for her. And then I know it's going to be done. Journal photo that side. Oh, let's just tuck that in. And journaling that side. Um, what have we got? Oh, this one's a nice one. The best kind of memories. This is looking really, really cute. And again, I'm going to do exactly the same. Oh, actually, I might do that one as a flip as well. I think I might do quite a few of these. It just gives you more options, doesn't it, when you're doing it. But yeah, there's some people that you know are going to just go in and fill it all in and, and do it. But I know mum's just not that type of person. She just wouldn't. So I would much rather do it as a complete gift for her. Um, Elaine, in our Patreon group the other day, she made one for her sister. And... Um, it was so, no, it was for a friend. She'd actually been onto Facebook and taken all the photos off. Isn't that a lovely idea? All you need to do is just do um, save them and you can do that. And I just thought that was so lovely that it was a whole gift there. I thought that was really, really lovely. Right, what else have we got here? Got a little Minnie Mouse this time. Cool, and we can do some smaller photos as well. There, I think this is a really nice gift for mum and her husband. They had such a lovely time. Uh, what can we put on that one? Oh, we could have the good times, add a little bit of red. That would look quite nice, but we're actually nearly done. Can you believe that? How quickly has this come together? So quickly. 
and it just is a really really lovely gift I might have the noted at the side in the meantime I'd love to hear from you if you are planning to make any gifts this year for Christmas and have you already started what are you up to I made mum a notebook actually that was the first thing I made with my cinch I made her a Minnie the Pooh mm, Minnie the Pooh <laughs> Winnie the Pooh um notebook which I can't wait for her to have um it was oh, I have knee, needing to sort this out I'm going to need to get the pliers out because it's not quite in there um yeah I'm really really pleased um with the little notebook I made for her I think she'll really love that this is looking so cute let's have this one reminds me of Minnie and Mickey's railway railway railroad sorry I really love that might even try to find a I've got photos of her outside the road um ride actually with her husband so that would be really nice perfect let's stick that one down there and I might actually even come back when I've completed it and do a um, flip through I think I think I might do that I know exactly what I'm going to do for these so I'll pop a say cheese on the top because I know the photo I'm going to do already and let's stick this one on here happiest memories but yeah I think I'll do that I'll come back and do a little flip through right I cut this too short this one here I need to join this together because it's not quite working right and it's causing let's see if that helps and then let's do something at the end. Amazing memories. There we go. And I wanted to put the date on here as well. What colour shall I do? Oh, I might do some yellow, actually. Let's do yellow. Actually, these are also from um, Paper Maze as well. I love all the different stickers that you can get, the alphabet stickers. Oh, instead of a... Oh, let's have a heart. 20. Oh, blast. I've used up the fours. Oh, no. I can't do that now. I love that font as well. That's so typical. And I really wanted the heart. Right. I have got these, which I haven't used. These ones are from Craftillier. Whatever you pronounce it. You can really, really feel the ah, I'm gonna tell that the quality difference um, the ones from Bella Boulevard although they're more pricey these ones were 152 these ones were 399 the price difference is worlds apart it really is you definitely pay for what you get let's do that like that though that will look cute yeah these ones these cheaper ones feel really really fragile Okay. and I think I am pretty much done this is going to be I think part one of the video and I think I might do part two and actually finish making it we're going to add a little charm and I think we'll add some other bits and pieces add the journaling and the photos and we'll just add some fun bits and pieces there I think though I need to go around the outside there so this is part one I've decided a very quick and easy little mini book isn't that cute so I hope you've enjoyed this first part I look forward to seeing you in, with you in the second and we'll finish it off make some charms and some cuteness do some tabs and bits and pieces as well I think to really finish that off hope you've enjoyed this thank you for being here with me and I will see you on Thursday with a new video take care bye